think I call it like destiny. This Korean guy who owns a Japanese restaurant in Nairobi, he came to the restaurant to eat. So I was doing the teppanyaki uh, cooking at that time, and he saw me cooking with exhibition, you know. So he sat down on my table and ordered his food. And after he ate, he asked me if I want to work in Kenya. I was like, where is Kenya? <laughs> what? <laughs> Africa? You know, CNN. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, yeah, forests and animals and malnourished kids. Mm, and it's like, flies. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. It's not that because they showed me some pictures and videos. There is this one video of migration of animals and I was like, this is nice, this is interesting. So I worked with him for five years and then I I resigned thinking that, you know, go back to the Philippines and then uh, a friend of mine uh, told me, that, why don't we put up a Japanese restaurant in Kampala? I arrived here uh, seven o'clock in the morning, and the whole day we just drive around and you know see what's going on. Went to Hotel Africana and Garden City, and at five o'clock we were at the airport to go back to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And that night, I just like I, I felt like you know this is the place for me. <laughs> it was awesome. It's like I I. I I didn't spend time to decide. I just, of course, I consulted my wife. Although <laughs> <laughs> I should have killed you. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, okay, let's go. So I, I came here and I opened the very first Japanese restaurant in Kampala eight years ago. That was uh, Kyoto. I invited the Japanese ambassador to open my restaurant. When he looks at me, he says, Are you sure it's a Japanese restaurant? Because I'm a Filipino, you know, I'm not a Japanese. <laughs> and it's like, I said, yeah, w why don't you try? You know, you come to my restaurant, you try, you know. So he ordered sushi, he ordered tempura, he ordered uh, noodles, you know, those authentic Japanese food. Uh, I asked him, are you going to open my restaurant? You know, you're like cutting the ribbon and the ambassador says, are you kidding me? This is a very good Japanese, you know, like, this is a delicious Japanese food. This is the first time I had Japanese food in Uganda. <laughs> so, I'm going to open your restaurant. I'm going to cut the ribbon. Yeah. So, I was so exciting. Then, after two years of operation, uh, we turned the inside part into a bar. The bar kicks off, but the restaurant was dying. Because, you know, most of your clients are like, you know, upper class. They don't like loud music, they don't like, they don't like drunkards, you know, <laughs> next to them. So, I realized it's not, for, it's not for me anymore, so I quit. You know, I sold my share and opened this restaurant. The place is a bit far from town but I'm happy with the response it's uh, I'm happy with the outcome it's now the restaurant is now going more than three years actually and still expanding do you remember what specifically it was that made you fall in love with this country well I think the people, you know, it's like they are so welcoming. He he comes for sushi every day. So I asked him, where where did you learn eating sushi? He said, Well, I went, you know, like I studied abroad, and I love sushi. 